Alrighty, today is another special day. It is about 5.30. I'm actually uh, in the middle of my second week of my vacation, so, you know, I thought I'd do something special for my sister. And that is to prepare the car for um, a ceramic coating. So it's time for bring out the star of the show. And this is big baby right here, which is DIY details, rinseless wash version two. You can definitely tell by the milky appearance, the milky yellow appearance. Yep, right there. And there's a date right there. Oh, when I ordered it? Whatever. Anyway, it's here. That's what's important. And, oh man, this cap is not the best. But anyway, it kind of works well enough. Uh, but yeah, I heard great things about it. I want to see it for myself. So we'll see if it really is the GOAT or not. But being DIY detail, I believe it is. Is it going to be on par with Hero? We'll see about that. I think it will be. Yeah, this cap is actually not fitting that well with this um, gallon bottle for some reason, so. So I guess the gallons, these gallon bottles, um, I don't know if it's particularly the fault of this or something different about these um, gallon bottles, the threading in any way. It will not work with uh, these proportioners right here, unfortunately. Yeah, they're not fitting that well, actually. I did not realize that till now. So I guess that's, a, that's just a bit of warning for those who really like those. Oh, wow, yeah, it's really not working. Yeah, it's a good thing I actually ordered the smaller bottle because I can. <laughs> and I wanted a smaller bottle just to be more flexible in some situations. But I gotta say, this thing does really look like uh, like apple juice. And it does have that nice apple smell to it still. The smell is still there for those who are worried. Oh man. It's leaking out of the thing, so we'll have to just go with that. All right, just about four gallons. Let's get this um, rear guard situated. Well, let's mix it up first. All right, that should be well enough. And then put that baby in there. And yeah, oh man, it smells really good. It smells really good, actually. All right. Uh, let me see. Of course, I got the fresh, relatively fresh Legacy sponge that I was able to nab one luckily before I ran out once again. It's not the brand brand new one with the uh, the thing in the middle being gone apparently. It still has that like hard fabric in the middle. By the way, great product. Works with rinseless really well. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. All right, get the detail keg in there. We already have three gallons of water. Yeah, it's leaking from the thread, I'm afraid. So I'm gonna just have to be quick about it. Okay. Oh wow, but it's super, I can already feel it like super uh, slick. Shake it up a bit. All right, you guys know the drill. Air into tank. You guys, you guys are gonna about to love my new contraption or upgrade to contraption, quote unquote. So I decided to add like an angle connector to here. 
this mister I really liked uh, previously. And then we have the quick connects right here to act like a like a swivel. That way I can like just turn this on the, to my liking. Since when I uh, screw it in, it, it like winds up facing like like that way or something. So I use the quick connects as a swivel. And not only, not only that, but I can take off the tip, maybe throw in another one if I want, you know, just in case. So it looks a little crazy, looks a little funny, but yeah. <laughs> the, thing, the things I do to experiment. All right, here we go. Yeah, super misty, but yeah, look at all that crap. It's already, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's already like doing work on the dirt. It's really cool. Look at that, yeah. Look at that encapsulation, that is crazy. Yeah, it looks like it is working faster than the uh, previous DIY. So I'll give about uh, a good minute or two. But look at look at these. Oh my god. It is really, really tightened up that dirt. Look at that. Look at that. My sister washed the car like recently too, so it shows it goes to show how much crap just accumulates just over a um, couple of days. Yeah, the back. Yeah, I'll stitch it up here. That's crazy. Yeah, version two is already doing a lot of work. That is really cool. Make sure I get the front right. Get the window stuff. I really like this tip, it's really cool. It's like super misty, doesn't suck up too much uh, product. It gets the product on there really nicely. But look at that, guys. Wow. All right, so it's been a, a good minute or two. So, uh, since we're gonna polish it anyway and I'm kinda like, uh, a little tight on time. I would like to uh, get this done as efficiently as possible. So I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna use a polisher anyway to uh, ceramic coat it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this without rinsing it. And oh yeah, took off the bird poo real easy. Oh yeah. The paint is already all marred up anyway, so there's no point of trying to save it. I'll just do a second pass, because why not? Because we got that done real quick.
Oh man, and I forgot to say, super slick, cleans up fast. It, you know, Ivan did live up to to the word, right? That it like goes faster. Like my goodness. Goes through the paint like nothing. Oh, there's dirt right there. And look at that, clean, clean sponge. Look at that. They uh, are not joking about the whole easy rinse off when you dunk it into the bucket. <laughs> Let's use the red side so you can see like the dirt. See how it like goes into the grooves, like more close, more towards the grooves. That's kind of the point. I, at least I, I believe anyway. And again, the paint is already marred up, so there's no, no real point of trying to be delicate with it and I'm going to be polishing it anyway so compounding polishing all um, in the one step so if you want to see it again there's some dirt right there no hitting the grit on the bottom look at that pretty good stuff My vacation so far has been pretty damn good. The main goal was to just relax. I was not going anywhere as a staycation and I am definitely enjoying it. I watched uh, EVO 2024 over the weekend. There was uh, some exciting matches. Oh, there's some leaf right there. All in all, that was a good week. So, and this is week two. <laughs> I do have a two week vacation, so it's pretty nice. My first time too. My first time ever having an actual two week vacation, paid and all. So I, get, I definitely can say life is pretty good right now. Could it be better? Absolutely, but hey, I can't complain. I'll take it. Looks like this is a vast improvement, I say. Especially from the uh, encapsulation perspective. Slickness is great. Um, oh, sorry. Slickness, slickness is great. But if you already have version one, like a whole gallon of it, like me, <laughs> um, you can still use it. it. Still does great. It is a great cleaning uh, rinseless. So if anything, you can still use it as your go-to rinseless. Oh 
Oh man, look at that. That's some real dirt right there. And it's real gone. <laughs> man, rinseless, wash. So good. Yeah, second pass, real quick one. Especially when there's still bird poo on there. Yeah, not much to say. It's super slick. It encapsulates really fast. And I love the smell. That's a, top, that's a bonus. And I'm sure it'll feel just as nice with the drying towel. But that said, I'm going to be using uh, a clay towel, so we'll keep this on. I'll reapply some um, rinseless to reactivate it. But all in all, I think this is a great improvement. It's still a great DIY rinseless that I know and love. Plus, the improvements is actually very noticeable, more noticeable than I would thought. So, um, Ivan and Nick, thank you for uh, working to improve these products, man. It's real sick. <laughs> it is absolutely great. I would like to continue to use more of your products like the sponge right here. I coated my car, my own Corolla over there with the DIY uh, eight year coating. It has been working great so far. I love it. I really do like it. <laughs>